all right so guys welcome back it has been far too long it has been over a week since we last played this game but today we make our official return ladies and gentlemen welcome back to red dead redemption 2 you know when you love to do something but you don't get to do it for an x amount of time and then when you're really really close to doing it again you're just like super excited this is me right now okay i love playing this game and um i'm just happy to be able to bring you guys episode 13 we've officially made it with the crew or at least within the story we are officially in saint denis and today we are going to be doing a good amount of things first and foremost we're going to start off by going to the barber shop we're going to start off by getting some things done to arthur okay we we, we need a little bit of a do over here we're looking a little sloppy i might also do some side missions i don't know if i'm going to focus too heavily on the main missions today I feel like uh, we've been doing that lately because the story and the missions themselves are so important. Don't get me wrong, we are going to do main missions, but I feel like we're probably just going to do maybe one or two at most. And then we'll do like two or three side missions. So we'll just see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. And um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this. Luckily for us, I believe the barbershop is actually right up this way. Yep. Abre los ojos. Abre los ojos. Me cago en ti. All right, sorry, a little too vulgar. My bad. <laughs> hey, dude. Uh, <laughs> Hi, there. Hi there, Barber. I need a haircut, man. I'm looking a little sloppy. I forgot the haircuts we had here. I'm not going to lie. I, I did want to keep rocking this whole, like, you know, Jesus look. Um, I feel like it fits him so well. But I do feel like we also need a good haircut. So, styles. And the pomade always looks nice. Left parted. Ah, okay. So then we got to do the length. That's right. Bro, it's like a different person. Left parted fade. Again, I feel like the middle parted has always looked better. But the fade is... The fade is just the fade, man. We need the fade. It's too late. Years we did it. All right, let's pomade it. I don't even think we need to. But, oh, okay, okay, looks nice. Pomade looks nice. In fact, yes, it does. Yes, it does indeed. Oh, man, the pencil, the handlebar. We're gonna do the handlebar. And distinguished. That's the handlebar look. Okay, and now we got a little bit of this. Hmm. I don't know. Should we leave the beard growing? It's not even at its full capacity yet. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the beard for a little bit and see how long it can grow. Like I always say, your hair is your first impression. Hello, please. Tell oh. your friends about us. Wow. Hey, partner. Bro, tell me this man does not look sexy as hell right now. <laughs> he looks so darn good. Oh my god. Look at this man. Oh god. You look so good. Oh, Arthur, if your ex would see you now, she'd be all over that ass. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. All right, so now we have to make some very powerful adjustments here. We have to go. Where is this place? To the tailor. Okay. We have to go to the tailor. This is something that we just we must do. Okay, girl. Believe it or not, how are you today? I'm really happy that this time around my horse has been a My horse has been a female as opposed to a a male like it was on the first time that I played this game. It just makes it feel a little bit different. Isn't it time? to end this nonsense and let us vote once and for all hello ma'am hey there you my friend what do you think about women's suffrage women voting sure why not oh thank you sir you are a true progressive anyone dumb enough to want to vote I say go for it <laughs> oh a cynic how dull for you 
I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> right. Hello there. I love the swagger on this guy right now. Okay. So we are going to head now into the out tailor. The damn way. Arthur, Arthur, let's behave now, buddy, okay? We're looking like pretty Hello. good Samaritans. Hey, mind your step. Sorry, mister. My mistake. Please. No. Oh, you bastard. Or, hey, I think that fellow might have just picked your pocket. Nothing shocked me no more. Look out. <sighs> Stop now, damn you. I'm not going to hog tie him. If I hog I tie him, I might, I might actually get the, the police on me. to get a hole in your head. Hold on. I think the last time I hogtied him. Long, long crazy. time ago. Right now, we've got to be a uh, man of the law. We've got to do this the right way. I need you to calm down. And I need you to slow down, most importantly. Because we're in an alleyway and I'll beat your ass right here. Money for your life. All right. All right. Fast. Damn it. You got me. Uh, here. It won't happen again. Okay? Just a bit of cash. See? That wasn't such an ordeal, was it? All right, sir. I have arrived. I am back. I am here to look sexy. Now, let me have a look. Let's see what you can do for me, sir. Okay, so we've got outfits. Let's take a look at the outfits. Hmm. Nice. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Oh, shirts. Okay. This is similar to the one that we have now. The Union shirt. The Everyday shirt. What are the colors we got here? Ooh. Look at all these beautiful colors. I'm going to buy a red. Because hmm. it's always good to have red. Um, buy this as well. Also a yellow. Sure. I bought a whole lot of shit today. All right, let's see. Everyday shirt. I like this baby blue. Not even gonna lie, All I like this too. All those are reliable and comfortable, and they look great to boot. What's that? I have to say that looks just. I feel almost human. You can really feel. Yeah, yes, wear it with. Mm hmm. Well, much appreciated. Okay. Saddle jeans. Oh, look at that. Those are really cool. I'm gonna get are both. You feeling good? <laughs> I get because so much clothes. I actually like those. And Oof. That you colors. can really feel this. You will look. Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. Look at these. These are nice. What are these? Alright, so we came home real quick. Because, okay, because I don't know if there's a way that we can change certain clothes in the tailor, like take them off. I know we can buy them and put them on, but as far as take them off, I don't know if we can do that. And if we could, I don't know how to do it. So I had chosen this really nice, um, see, I don't want to have a coat. That's what I wanted to do, take off the coat. I've got so many, like, different types of clothes now. It's ridiculous. Um, my boy Arthur is looking a little sweaty there, but it's okay. So I bought this. Um, oh, I bought a lot of shirts, probably like 15 shirts or so. So I had this nice little brand new like baby bluish shirt on, which I wanted to keep on. And I wanted to see different pants. I do like the ones that I have on now because they're jeans. We also have them in blue. Um, I think a darker tone with these would definitely go well. These are work pants. Um, got different colors here as well. Look at that, huh? Look at that man looking fancy. Shit. Well, that looks really good too. You gotta be honest. Okay, and then we have these as well. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Oh my goodness, Arthur Morgan, you look like a million dollars. We got new suspenders. Let's go ahead and uh, give my boy some spanking new suspenders. I almost bought the whole store, to be honest. Almost bought the whole store. We'll go with these. Um, excellent. 
Ain't nobody got time for them ugly ass chaps, bro. Bro, this is an amazing look for Arthur Morgan right here. Not even gonna lie. I love it. Now we've got uh, some throwing knives up there. Nice. Very nice. Replenish. Replenish, replenish, replenish. My window's broken. Who broke my window? Sheesh. All right, I don't want to fast travel anywhere right now. I think the only place that we can fast travel to is uh, the other campsites. Got some arrows. Perfect. Let's see, if we go to the fast travel menu. Yeah, we can only go to... Okay. Saint Denis. Holy crap. Never mind, we could go to Saint Denis. All right. Oh man, this dude looks amazing. And yes, I know that freaking stupid pelt at the back of the horse. I need to get rid of it and I will. I know I need to get rid of it. It's it's already becoming an NPC in the, in the actual series that we have here. Just so you know, I spend so much time at the tailor buying clothes and at the barbershop that I've been recording for 48 minutes. <laughs> And we're probably like 10 minutes into this video, which is a little crazy, but whatever. We have arrived at Saint Denis. Oh man, we are looking spicy. These are some solid upgrades, Arthur. All right, so check it out. Like I said, before we do any of the crazy main missions, we are going to. We're gonna. To... Talk to some of the people of Saint Denis here. All right. Nice to see you again, sir. Did you change your mind about donating by any chance? We could really use your support to improve the lives of our veterans and their families. You know what? I'm kind of rich, so I'll give you. There you go. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure I can help you out. <gasps> That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed <laughs> you have a great day mr morgan oh man too bad never mind i'm gonna shut up uh i was about to loot the box <laughs> i was about to loot the box and then i thought to myself wait that, that might not be good why do i waste my time why sir what is are you okay sir you okay, buddy? <laughs> Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius. So we shove the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It Big is nuts. demonstration <laughs> of my genius. Big Nuts. Of my ideas about the source of life. <laughs> oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy <laughs> boat that I can power remotely using electricity in waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> gentlemen! Let me turn on my fan. What's up? Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. 
a demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe Shh. I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I Boy? watched them conspire, you moron. Boy? <laughs> I just I spent met hundreds on this clothes. Two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. <laughs> okay. If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Ow. Tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Even little boats can sink, okay? Oh, reverse RB. I was like, wait, how do I go back? Okay. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatana. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that. I'm trying to get the hang of it. The mines! They're magnetized, <laughs> remember? There. All gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the seating dock. Oh, God. Oh my god, this boat is about to explode on us. <laughs> Where do you want me to put this thing? In front of me? Okay, fine. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is a really this cool mission. Is just a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy <laughs> the little sailing boats before they get to other side of park, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, okay. you attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart park. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the... Look who rules the seas. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. <laughs> But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel. Can I count on your support? Well, 
this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my European... Bro, Arthur looks amazing in this clothes. I'm sorry, I love it. I love it. He looks so freaking good. I'm sorry. You're a piece of shit. Guy trying to ruin that man's poor freaking gig. How dare you? All right, let's check this out. Let's go over here. Um, well, we can do a bounty. We can also go. I feel like we should also probably go to the stable. Um, you know what? Let me go to the trapper and just get rid of this freaking pelt. The pelt is probably worth nothing right now. Like, it, it may not be worth anything at all, to be completely honest. But I feel like we should just get over it. I don't think I've ever been so happy with an outfit in my uh, Red Dead Redemption playthrough ever. <laughs> oh look, we have a uh, we have another stranger here. Let's go ahead and do that first. Oh, it's actually right by the trapper. That actually works out perfectly. We'll keep going until my horse decides to catch up. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, I don't think I've ever been so happy with with any of my outfits. I, I just love the combination. It feels so refreshing, especially after wearing the same crap for like three episodes. My horse is never going to catch up. I'd rather just run there, I guess. <clears throat> we'll just keep on running then. Thanks, Snow White. You know... I'm already here. I don't. I don't need your ass. You oh. kind, sir. Will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you. I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, hmm. and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Wow. Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Is that so? Investigate the shop. Hello. Glad to see you again, sir. Uh, oh, what do you have for me? Let me just sell. Great, let's see. Poor deer oh, pelt. Good use of that. <laughs> Is that the one in the back of my horse? I'll check afterwards. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, no harm done. Go away. No worry, no harm done. <laughs> so is he out here? I'm sorry. That's okay, sweetheart. I think it's actually through the inside. Buenas. Buenas. Yeah, it's actually through the inside. Oops. You look oh, you're you're there. Right there. All right, here we go. Right up through here. I didn't even know there was a shop here. Jesus. Oh, I remember. 
remember this shop actually. Yes, I do. Feel free to browse. Shall do. Hmm. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Wife, maybe? <laughs> you timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Hmm. Okay, let's search this Looking drawer. For anything in particular? Can you shut up? I'm searching. I am uh, investigating your, your store here. Here's some uh, little birdie told me well, you're up to no good, sir. Oh, if I can help at all. Look a little mysterious. Got a lot of junk here. I don't trust you, partner. Alright, let's search the drawer. Hmm, what do we have here? I don't want to loot that. I'm going to get in trouble for that. Oh, we had to look for the freaking clue like this. Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I, I'm afraid of just a, a few old books. Something don't seem right. So, uh, what Who's back here? Back there? Looks uh, like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. <gasps> they made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door now. Oh, okay, okay. Just put the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Wow. I think he's gonna hit me or something. He did. Did he leave? Oh my god. Callate, callate. Callate. Please be quiet. Hay alguien ahí? Oh my god. ¿Quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. ¿Quién eres? Por, por favor. I'm not gonna leave you, bro. I'm just, uh. God, this looks so insane. I need a thumbnail. Hold on, man. I need a thumbnail. Fuck! Por favor. Sorry. It's a hard, it's a hard choice to be a Please, YouTuber. I'm okay. on your side. We well, you need some good okay. thumbnails. <laughs> I might not even need them for a thumbnail, but I need to have the ability to have a choice, right? Bro, fucking captives, bro. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. to the monk wow anything else here gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. De nada, don't, mi amigo. don't worry You're gonna be all right now promise wow that's insane dude that's it Come on, you'll be safe soon. Give cash to captives.
<laughs> Give him all the money, hey, holy crap. Take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. Good man, Arthur Morgan. Don't worry, bud. I'm not gonna kill you. What is this? I'm, I've been trying to loot this thing here. See what we find. Well, there's nothing there. All right, guys, come through here. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Man, there were prisoners in the freaking basement, bro. Wow. I love when they add like NPCs to speak Spanish because it's my language, you know? So, like, I don't know. It makes me happy. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I. Uh. Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Up to the poor. Up to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Wow. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Wow. Look at that freaking honor, huh? Oh, that was such a dope mission. Oh my god. That was amazing. Okay, anything else here? All right, good. We got rid of that freaking pelt. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy, partner. Hey, mister. Hello, sir. There's got to be another stranger here. You got yourself. To be inside this area? How do I go? How do I go in there? Oh, here we go. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Look out. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to the salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, <laughs> that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. 
One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. <laughs> uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. That was kind of strange. Artwork given to you by artist Charles. I feel like this has more of a... Oh my... <laughs> oh, it's about a freaking thunderstorm up in here. Hey, 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 you better be careful with my horse, mister. I like, I like how some of the stranger missions are not really like to do missions or just like meet this character and see what he's all about like that guy's voice acting was insane right there the charles guy that was phenomenal if you guys want me to do more stranger missions than, than anything like more frequently just drop a like on this video like I, I, the reason i'm saying that is because man I'm having a freaking blast with these uh, these characters now that we're meeting and stuff. It feels like a whole new part of Red Dead Redemption too, like 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 if I'm playing a DLC or something, you know? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but bit of weird. do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine? You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> What is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Yeah. There's plenty of real booze here. Yeah. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Yeah. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rose. You in now? We're here. All Thank right, you. sir. Thank you. Good I luck. appreciate it, man. My horse is dirty. Um, I'm gonna give, uh, actually, no, I don't need any of that. What I do need to do, I need to put this gun away, and I need to uh, brush my horse. My horse is dirty as hell. And then I need to pat my horse. It's okay, girl. But I'll pat it as I'm riding it, so fuck it. There's also a bunch of stranger missions here as well. Alright. Go right up in here. How do you do, sir? Glad you dropped in. I've got that uh information you asked for. Yep. Um need something more specific this time a wagon full of moonshine well you might just be in luck i knew i picked the right feather to speak to hmm inspect the note from the satchel to find out the details of the robbery and mark the location on your map so it reads bridge and blue water marsh north of saint denis Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine. A bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. X. Bridge and Blue Water Marsh, north of Saint Denis. Yeah. All right, guys. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh God. Jesus Christ. Stranger, these raiders are insane. 
Okay, so that was a little sloppy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. Let's get back on track. Ooh, that's a gator right there. What? Did I just Easy. Did I just <laughs> I just freaking ru Oh my god. I think my horse just ran over that freaking bird. one of those stranger missions that that's a bit um intense we have to go multiple areas and stuff like that wait for the wagon easy girl Sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Oh. Oh. Step down from there and drop your weapon. You did have half the job for me. Oh my god! <laughs> he didn't have the job Jeez. for me! Whoa. Go on, girl! Oh my god! And they killed the horse, too. You savage. You yeah, gotta get out of here. We got to bounce before we get caught by the... I was going to say the popo, but I'm not too sure we should call these the popo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. That was freaking hilarious. That I've never, ever, ever really like, played this game and just done nothing but side missions. This is so amazing. Literally amazing. So Moonshot. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? Um, oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, <laughs> have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. N nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches what? sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. What huh. the fuck? Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Wow. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. My boy, you good? You good? Hey, folks. Too much to drink, partner. Hello? Hello? I need to do a main mission. I might not even, to be honest. The way this is going. It is 
Um, oh, look, here they are. Are they learning uh, English? Partner. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll watch! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Oh, no, my God. Where the hell did he go? Oh, what's gonna happen? Hold on, you know what? Let me actually take, uh... Something from Deadeye. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Hmm. A little beat in Get the back. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? <clears throat> I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last hey, time. you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. Promise you? <laughs> All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Oh, the crucifix. Oh, that dude, that dude. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. Oh, hi there, you little, sure? little mama. Hey, what? I don't know you. This is... Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. Oh. Escape the law. Yep. Oh, yeah. You lost me now. Oh my god, all that shit. No go. Alright, I think we're good. Whew. I'm gonna chill here until the law goes away, the wanted level goes away. Christ, it takes forever. All right, my sister Calderon without all, all oh, alerting the law. Without alerting the law, it's gonna be a little difficult, don't you think? Oh no. How in the world am I supposed to do that? Kidding me? Hold on. Sneak around here. Morning, gentlemen. Yes, I am wanted by the law, but you don't know that. When I was younger, those challenges used to frustrate me. Oof. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> You didn't. No, oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly mm. deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? <laughs> Brother Dorkins called him. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Brother All right. Yeah. Oh, freaking right. All right, so what do we have here available? We've got more missions, I'm sure. Um, should we do, uh, 
We have a bounty. We have to go actually. Oh my god, we still have that bounty from that thing. Across. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, we have to go. We have to go pay for this bounty. We're gonna go pay for the bounty. Right behind us. I'm gonna kinda stick to the insides just in case. <clears throat> I don't wanna get caught. I definitely don't want to get caught right now. Look out! We're gonna stick to the inner streets. Not a problem. Um, is this closed? No, it's a open. Lot of companies. Perfect. Well, look at how alive this game is. So many people everywhere. Conversations happening left and right. It's so amazing. I'll be right over. All right, pay bounties. My boy. Happy to help you start over. Perfect. Yep. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there start shooting up the place boy's gonna get shot that i guarantee better like this you're gonna have a lot of protection hey, no one's gonna get shot arthur so everyone just relax we'll charm them trust me this is the place <coughs> must be you okay john i guess hmm. excuse me sir we have an appointment to see mr bronte who are you you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. straighten a couple of things out with your boss. You guys seem a little agitated. Everything okay at home? They do. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city stinking of shit and looking like this and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act you ask me to show compassion have i not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence indeed you have now we are simple country folk all we have is each other and you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us you had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business we was innocent bystanders and that which we weren't innocent of well we we most surely were ignorant of you twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. 
Ti adoro. <ride> Date da bere sti uomini. Angelo Bron. <ride> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <ride> All mine, please. <ride> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <ride> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Mm. Don, you have anything to say? Or are you just going to stay shut? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branch. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Hmm. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. All right, we'll hitch it right here, right? All right, Johnny boy. Let's do this. God, I really want a Red Dead Redemption 1 remake. This way. Search the cemetery for the grave robbers. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. See something. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. I remember this mission. I don't recall what happens now, but I remember this. I didn't expect graveyard. anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Okay, I'll lead. You watch behind me. All right, so search the cemetery for the grave robbers. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Don't exactly make it too hard for grave robbers, do they? Hmm. 
I hear them. I hear them. Up this way. Over here, dude. Locate the source of the disturbance. Shush. Right up this way. Hello? Is there anybody here? No, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I had a bit to drink. My friend died. Hmm. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Hmm. Sooner we get this done, sooner we get Jack back. Alright. <clears throat> there they go. Break it to you. Let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need I did to miss be a couple quick. of shots. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Alright, it was right over here. Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Well, it's not even hold on, there might be something here still. No? Well, this like is pathetic. Said, let's look around where they jumped us. Right up in here. And go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. The police. Now let's get out of here. Damn, laws here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Fuck. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You lead the way. To the side. Come on. I'll just follow John. We'll be good. There's someone coming. Hide. I found a body. Of course you did. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Come on. Stay together. You see, this is the type of stuff we do for family. <laughs> Rob a graveyard. <laughs> Oh god. Let's go, man. You need to move. I'm following you, but you're going fucking slow stepping, bro. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. The horses 
should be right up there. <gasps> right, John. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. John, let's go. What is taking you so long? You kid. This man took like 20 minutes. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, is he, is he coming with? Yeah, I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Easy. Like I said, we should see where we're at once we got Jack. All right, let's get this done. All right, let's get it. Get! Come on, Arthur. Let's go, John. Get off the horse. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You hmm. know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Hey. Is that so, Dutch? Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teached me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. <laughs> That's so, true. That's what'd true. you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! 
We got you, your son, everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, mm -hmm. thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, <laughs> let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. I love the brotherhood, man. It'll never get not amazing. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Hey, make some room for John there. <laughs> Good to have you back. We missed you. Hey, hey, how about a song? Huh? How are you? Out the air. Play us away. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Hey, Javier sings pretty damn good, huh? Damn! Guys. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome. Look at these party poopers over here. What are you guys doing, man? Oh. Life is good. The gang is back. Jack is back. And well, Arthur is still kind of lonely. But he's still the best man in here. So, with that said, I think we're going to end this video here. It has been a really good one. Like, so many cool side missions and side characters, strangers that we met today. That... I'm happy the way this ended off. So thank you guys again so much. I hope you did enjoy this episode. In fact, if you did, drop it a like. And I hope to catch you guys on the next one.